I miss movie tie-in games. Spider-Man used to have so many of these. Spider-Man 1, Spider-Man 2, Spider-Man 3, The Amazing Spider-Man 1 and 2. While not all certainly phenomenal, I've still spent hours of time in these games as a Spider-Man fan. And I really enjoy each and every single one of them and owe a huge part of my childhood to them. Please! Someone! I'm going to die! Okay, I didn't actually play this one. Part of me really misses getting a new video game to coincide with the release of a new movie. I mean, could you imagine? Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, the video game. Okay, well, maybe don't name it that, because it's longish. Like, could you fucking imagine how cool a Spider-Verse movie tie-in game would really be? If you ask me, there's a couple ways you could do it. They could go the route that any of the old Raimi games did, by basically emulating some of the main beats from the movie, while also adding completely new parts of the game with old characters that we've never seen in this universe before. Spider-Man 1 The Game covers almost all of the Spider-Man and Green Goblin subplot and even adds more into it by having you stop traps set up by the Goblin to save the city. It also adds new villains that we've never seen in the Raimi universe before. You fight Vulture in this massive scaling clock tower. You fight the Scorpion in this underground parking garage. You could even fight Shocker in the subway. Even the Xbox version of this game got an exclusive level where you're hunted by Kraven. Yeah, we got our lick back, bitch. Fucking X-Cox. Spider-Man 2 and 3 would take a similar approach, pretty much adapting some of the story while also adding new characters that we've never seen before into these games. A Spider-Verse tie-in game could totally go that route. If I was in charge, I would make it so that you start the game as a maxed out Spider-Man. Then just like in the movie, you go into the Collider and find Miles Morales, who was bitten by a spider earlier that day, which of course he tells you through the origin story retelling format that the End of the Spider-Verse movies are known for. But of course, just from Miles' perspective and what he's been through in the past 24 hours. Then, as Spider-Man, you go to fucking fight the Collider with the Green Goblin and shit. Eventually, you end up dying at the hands of the Kingpin. And once Peter dies, you're now stuck as Miles, and you have to climb all the way back up to the original skill level you saw the original Spider-Man have that you played with. From there, you could just pretty much run through an entire version of the Spider-Verse movie, just split up into different levels so it feels like a video game. Of course, you could always add some open world sections where you can do a bunch of other things like all the other Spider-Man tie-in games have done. But I could totally see Into the Spider-Verse just straight up being copy and pasted into a video game. I think this would be an idea that could actually work if money was put into it. But you know, corporations don't like fun. They like money. You don't even have to do the first movie either. You could totally take the Tasm Games route with Across the Spider-Verse. In the Tasm 1 game, it acts as a complete continuation of the plot of Tasm 1. In fact, there are even returning characters from the previous movie that even show up. You've got the Lizard, who even fights with you during certain levels. You have Gwen, who's with you pretty much there the whole way, and even becomes infected by whatever fucking bullshit is going on in the video game. I don't know, it's been years since I played it. I actually have a really deep fascination in this game. The aesthetic of Tasm 1 was something that I felt was really abandoned when it came to the sequel. But when you go back and look at this movie tie-in game, it really feels like a time capsule. Something that sort of captured a lot of the major elements of Tasm 1 before they were thrown out in Tasm 2. And honestly, going through that little treasure trove of a video game, Sounds like an interesting idea to me. Who knows? I may do a retrospective. I don't know. Guys, guys, I can't, look. Let's be real. I can't do a retrospective series covering Spider-Man games. I can't. You know who is I you know who I'm talking about. He already did it. He already did it, okay? And we can be original in our own ways. I'm not a ripoff, I swear! Tasm 2, the video game, kind of takes a similar route that the Raimi movie games did, and where it sort of just really loosely bases the plot of the movie on its storyline. Gwen doesn't actually even show up in the game, not even once. I, she's only mentioned in text boxes and nothing else. But 
it's weird because you're also witnessing Harry Osborn become the Green Goblin? What? Okay. But it also adds Craven and Carnage! No Venom though. No, no Venom. He's not here for some reason. I don't. It's just Carnage. And you could totally take a similar route that the Tasm games did with an Across the Spider-Verse video game. If Across the Spider-Verse took this path, I'd really like to see it do some sort of rise the ranks kind of thing. Kind of like Psychonauts. It's this video game where you level up and gain more experience within this society of people who do things sort of similar to how you do. I could totally imagine this being put into a video game where the setting is a society filled with spider-powered superheroes who all live similar lives. You'd spend the whole game sparring with other spider people, maybe even recruiting them to come along with you on these adventures into other dimensions where you stop anomalies, but the whole time, you play as Gwen. To me, that makes the most sense because Miles would be a fitting candidate for the main character of this game. But if we really want to focus on the Spider Society part of it, Miles doesn't really come into play with the Spider Society until like way later on in the plotline. It makes much more sense to make Gwen the main character of this game so that Gwen can be the one who rises throughout the ranks just like she does in the movie. And I think this would be one of those movie tie-in games that could sort of fill in the gaps in the story's plotline. You could sort of imagine what Gwen was doing when she wasn't trying to get into contact with Miles back on his home universe. She was just over here, fucking going to other dimensions with Hobie or fucking Peter or whatever. I'd love to see a game that sort of just lets you explore around all these different versions of New York. Of course in small settings because making all those different versions of New York would be insane. But I still think it'd be fun to interact with these semi-linear New Yorkish levels fighting, you know, outlandish versions of Spider-Man villains with Spider-Man people you already know and love. And eventually, as you play the game, you start to discover how important Miles Morales really is to the origins of all these anomalies you've been fighting, eventually leading to the plot of Across the Spider-Verse. Now that would be a pretty solid movie tie-in title. Except it would never fucking happen! Movie tie-in games really just don't get made anymore. I feel like Spider-Man was one of the lucky ones who got movie tie-in games up until 2014. I don't know when movie tie-in games died, but I feel like they died way, way, way before 2014. I just think it really stinks that this phenomenon couldn't continue on with the Spider-Man movies. The idea of a movie tie-in game coming out that completely captures the soul of the movie you just watched to coincide with that release. You weren't done just leaving the theater. If you watch Spider-Man 2, guess what, motherfucker? I have it on the GameCube at home. That's what makes these games so special, is that they sort of capture the heart and soul of the movie you just watched, all on this stupid fucking disc. If you want more Spider-Man 1, I mean this with the utmost sincerity, Go play the video game. If you really wanted more Spider-Man 2, I swear to God, I cannot recommend this to you enough. Go emulate the video game. You like Tasm 1? What the fuck am I about to tell you, motherfucker? Go play the video game. You like Tasm 2? You like Spider-Man 3? Well, I already know you like watching shit, so why wouldn't you like playing with shit? Every single one of these games, for better or for worse, has the soul of the movie it was based off of running inside of it. And that's just a really magical thing. I just wish somebody out there would capture Spider-Verse into a small, compact fucking disc. Okay, confession time, okay? I fucking missed this phenomenon back when the MCU Spider-Man movies were still coming out. So you know what I would do? You know what I would do? I would get Spider-Man PS4 open, <laughs> And then I would play through the whole campaign while only using the MCU suits to make it like, oh, this is just Tom Holland. I'm just, it's Tom Holland, guys. It doesn't sound like Yuri Lowenthal. I would start the game off with the fucking hooded suit, the homemade suit. And then after the fight with Kingpin and I get the suit upgrade, that's when I switch to the Stark suit. And then for like heavy artillery missions, I'll wear like the iron spider. This is when I was still in high school. So like dumb shit is going to happen. So I would fucking wear 
goddamn fucking the night monkey suit on stealth missions all kinds of dumb shit like that but man uh it was something that really hold held me over <laughs> knowing that like the mcu movies weren't gonna get any movie tying games which you know what in retrospect i think i'm okay with i'm really okay with the fact that you know spider-man homecoming isn't also getting a video game i, I i'll live you know i think i'll live even though i really like spider-man homecoming I feel like getting a new Spider-Man game for movies that aren't already, like, super focused on being the most, like, quality films. I, you know, it's just making bad out of bad, you know what I mean? But, yeah. At least the Homecoming game might be decent, because I actually really like Homecoming. Uh, yeah, no, that's it for this video. Goodbye, y'all. Be sure to tune in when I go live. Set your notifications so that you know when I'm going live. I'm still working on my Spider-Man TV show. That's something I'm still doing. In fact, if you're still here, I love you, and I'm going to show you a sneak peek. Oh, man, you were way more manageable last time. You know, if my hands were free, I would so take a picture.